This time, Hunter Biden is found to have business ties to China. According to the New York Post, emails show that Hunter Biden pursued lucrative deals involving CEFC China Energy Co., one of China's largest private energy companies. The emails show Hunter Biden discussing business ventures, including some that he said would be, quote, interesting for me and my family. One email chain sent to Hunter Biden on May 13, 2017, shows discussions of compensation packages for six people involved in an unspecified business endeavor. Hunter Biden was named chair slash vice chair, depending on the agreement with CEFC, with a pay quote of 850. The email also detailed a provisional agreement where 80 percent of shares would be divided between six people. In another email chain dated August 2, 2017, Hunter Biden discusses a deal with CEFC's former chairman, Ye Jianming, in which Hunter holds half ownership and a three-year guarantee of $10 million payments per year. This payment would compensate introductions alone. Ye has ties to the Chinese military and intelligence service and was taken into custody by Chinese authorities in 2018. A photo from August 1, 2017 shows a handwritten diagram illustrating the split in ownership of Hudson West between Hunter Biden and a chairman. According to a report on Hunter Biden's overseas business dealings, a company called Hudson West 3 opened a line of credit in 2017. This report was released in September by Senators Ron Johnson and Chuck Grassley. Another document labeled attorney engagement letter was reportedly executed in September 2017. The agreement shows Patrick Ho, one of Ye's top lieutenants, enter an agreement with Hunter Biden to pay Biden a $1 million retainer for counsel to matters related to U.S. law and advice pertaining to the hiring and legal analysis of any U.S. law firm or lawyer. Joe Biden's campaign has not yet commented on these specific allegations. A spokesperson for the campaign did say that Twitter suppression of the article detailing the Ukrainian allegations proved that the claims are false.